Good morning, folks. How are we doing? Today is Thursday. It is the 21st day of April 2022. I am Scott. That is Bo. The co-pilot is sitting down there. She's out of the co-pilot seat. And it is a nice Thursday morning in Tampa, Florida. Um, Real Gonzalo Lira 01 has popped up. Someone claiming to be Gonzalo Lira is has opened up a new Twitter account. And this is what he says. Uh, SBU, CIA, the usual suspects would love for me to take a photo holding up a newspaper or go live because obviously I wouldn't be going live or holding up a Ukrainian paper. Ukraine is no longer safe for someone like me. To do so would expose my current location. From what I've been told, <laughs> and I'll say this much because it's vitally important, the CIA wanted me gone. So did Zelensky and Kolomoisky, the boys and girls at Langley more so. Why? Biolabs Hunter Biden. They may shut this down, but if you if you hear nothing else, if they finally get to me or if I go off the grid, remember this. Zelensky is a puppet of Kolomoisky, who is a puppet himself. These two subjects, Biolab Hunter Biden, many a death can be attributed to these truths. There's a picture of some kind of weed, maybe, uh, at a store. I don't know what the fuck that is. Maybe he's in Turkey. Who knows? Uh, hi, everyone. Been a wild last few days, but I'm all right. Thank you for your concern. Uh, just starting to get my bearings. Hopefully, I can share more soon. <laughs> it says, I've started this new account. We'll explain later. Looking forward to telling you all what's been going on. And that was his first message. So, uh, a new account popped up. It's supposed to be Real Gonzalo Lira. Uh, Gonzalo Lira. I don't think it is. He has this interaction with somebody uh, claiming to be the part of his family. And they ask him a question and he answers with something that seemed to be uh, information that was readily available on Google. But I don't think it takes that much to figure out. It's probably not him. Now this is what I said in my previous video about him. Um, again, not a big fan. I think that what he's been of, of his work in the past, uh, he's he's made some questionable decisions. <laughs> I don't like the whole coach red pill thing. Somebody was saying, well, Scott, he hasn't done that. He stopped doing that uh, a month ago. That video on his coach red pill thing was a month ago. Um, stop. Uh I have my issues with him. I certainly have my issues with his whole uh, opinion towards 30-year-old uh, women who were unmarried. Uh, pretty Neanderthal uh, view of the relationship between men and women, but, and certainly women who are unmarried at that age. But um, all that said, he's done some good work. Uh, supposedly out of Ukraine. Um, he's talking about things that are uh, important to know. And this is what I basically, the conclusion I came to. So I certainly hope uh, that this individual is fine, that he has found a 40-year-old or a 20-year-old to spend Easter weekend with. And that's really the size of it. I hope he has maybe decided to go to Chile and he's in transit. Uh, or get out because he came to the realization that Nazis watch YouTube as well and it's the safest thing for him to do. I certainly hope that is the case. I certainly do not wish any ill on this guy. Like I said before, though he is off a little bit to start with, just like I was, everybody is. He's come along and he's done some good work and he's done some good reporting. So he's gotten some good mess messaging out there uh, to people. Yeah. So, uh, it was not a, my video was not a takedown of this man. Um, however, um, this concerns me on a number of levels. He claims that um, 
Yeah, here's Victor. I found the same information online by Googling your father's name. This isn't evidence. It's you. Uh, we need a verbal recording of you. Um, he says he won't do a verbal recording of him because the CIA has ways of uh, taking the background noise of an audio recording and finding a location like they already did. Funny you'd ask me to do that. So immediately he's trying to assume that people who were asking him questions to prove himself uh, are fucking the CIA. Um, he says that his he changed the, the uh, Twitter account to this one because the other one was compromised. It's not compromised. Nobody's fucking uh, posting on it or tweeting on it. Uh, the last time we did anything was April the 15th. That's one clue. Another clue is uh, his claim that the reason it's the CIA that wants him, not the Nazis, first of all, that's what he's running from was the SBU, the government agency, and the CIA, government agency. Um, not Azov, not the fucking Nazis. Um, and then he says right here, if you want to know more about what happened and why they're doing it, look up Biolabs and Hunter Biden. Well, you go and look at his, this is his Gonzalo Lira account. <laughs> There's nothing about fucking Hunter Biden and, and uh, Biolabs. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm, we're now what? A month. And there's nothing in... Uh, he talks about handmade chocolate. The USA is committing suicide. There's nothing. Uh, at least it, it, it's not in his fucking uh, titles or his fucking <laughs> thumbnails. I looked at his coach Red Pill, maybe. Kiev. Jordan Schatzel's lying about me. What Russia wants from its invasion of Ukraine. Uh, again, <laughs> nothing really about Hunter Biden and the laptop. Which is deflected. <laughs> if you were someone who was writing or creating an account to deal with a growing concern online that made Azov Battalion and the fucking Nazis and the National Guard and all of those look bad. Or, even if you were a uh, special operations uh, guy fighting a, this would be a war, this would be a target of opportunity. You pop back up, and as the real Gonzalo Lira 01, and you say it's everything but what, in fact, probably, if, if, if he's missing. Like I said in that video, Nazis watch fucking YouTube as well. So, um, then you wouldn't want to finger the people you're working for as the ones who did it. So, he's sitting here saying it's Kolomoisky, it's the CIA, it's the... Uh, 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 SBU, <laughs> it's everything but who we believe uh, actually had something to do with it. He also says uh, in one of these things, don't believe everything you read. Um, and he says, he, he makes mention of Scott Ritter. <laughs> um what Scott Ritter was saying was basically that the Nazis have found him and killed him or beheaded him. Um, so that's what his uh, that's what his uh, position is on that. So he's taking a shot at Scott Ritter. Uh, and why would he do that? Why would he feel the need to do that? He likes Scott Ritter. Or at least he likes Scott Ritter and the video he did of him. For a number of reasons, I don't think this is Gonzalo Lira. Now, does that mean Gonzalo Lira has been captured, killed, taken hostage? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, 
Uh, I, I, it, it does not mean that. It could mean that it's time for him to, he felt like it was time for him to uh, quit doing what he was doing, uh, take a break for a little while, get the hell out like I suggested he should. Um, but this is interesting. And again, I wouldn't put it past him from his past. I wouldn't put it past him <laughs> to do this, to make it look like it's not him. To get people talking more about him. I don't know. Uh, it's just so much bullshit. And he's done some stuff in the past that... Um, I, I, I have no idea. I do not know. One of these fucking things had a long... Chat. In which he clearly mentioned Scott Ritter. Here you go. My advice to all of you is don't believe anything you read. Not everything you read. He says don't believe anything you read. Half of what you see. And if you do read something, read between the lines. See Ritter. What is that supposed to mean? What he's talking about, he's referring to uh, somebody posted the Ritter comment somewhere uh, and it's gone. Okay. Uh, but somebody posted the Ritter comment, and Ritter didn't say that he was definitely gone. He said there were reports that he was captured by Zoff. <laughs> so who knows? Um, I don't, for a number of reasons, I don't think this is uh, Gonzalo Lira. He has no reason to make another account. Uh, unless, of course, he's somebody who can't get access to this account because he doesn't know the password. Um, and the way that he deflects blame away from it's everybody except the Nazi Azov battalion uh, that's kind of a clue as well now who knows uh, could be him just trying to gin up some <laughs> interest don't know uh, but he has not come back on to his YouTube account I don't believe unless he posted one while we were talking let's take a look and the answer is nope. Uh, so I, I I would say, in all honesty, I would say, and it's 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 ridiculous that the him saying that they would recognize, <laughs> they could find out where he was if he was in a hotel someplace and took a took a video quickly of him uh, talking in front of a fucking blank wall. And posted it. Now, of course, there are ways to track people's IP addresses where they post shit from, and there maybe Twitter can do that. But if they can do that with his real account, his original account, they can certainly do that with this account as well. So who knows? Um, in all likelihood, that is not uh, Gonzalo Lira. That is just my opinion. But here it is, for what it's worth. There's your Gonzalo Lira Coach Red Pill update. Um, I'll let you know if anything changes. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye, folks.